Hi, my friend. You are warm welcome for today's session. Today, I am going to take you through on the concept of moment of a force. Now, first of all, what does it mean by the term moment of a force about a point? Simply we say, moment of a force about a point is the product of force and perpendicular distance from the point to the line of action of the force. Uh, in other ways, we define that moment of a force is the turning effect of the force. Okay, now after this definition, let us the way we can elaborate it in diagram. I'm going to demonstrate what I have defined. Now just to take uh, the diagram of a meter ruler, as you can see on the board here, we have a meter ruler. A meter ruler, uh, it has maybe a center of gravity here, it's a center of gravity, and to me that its main point is this. Uh, now, maybe let us say, we have put a balancing point here, a balancing point here. This is a pivot. Uh, this is a pivot, and there is a weight W hung at this part. The weight W hung at this part. Uh, now, uh, just assume we have put we have uh, put this weight to the point where the ruler becomes in rotational balance. To me, that it becomes in equilibrium. Now, if this ruler is in equilibrium. Just to say, this is a distance, D1, a distance from the turning point to where the weight is acting at this point. Do you see? Now, uh, up to here. Now, according to the uh, definition of moment of a force, moment of force, we are told that it is the product of force. Now, our force is W. W is our force. It is the product of the force and the perpendicular distance uh, from uh, the point, the point which we are talking about is the turning point from the, the, from the point to the line of action of the force. So the perpendicular distance is the distance from the turning point to the line of action of the force. Our force is the blue. So line of action of the force is this line, this line, this line. So the perpendicular distance when the ruler is in balance, when the ruler is in balance, it will be from this up to this part, this is the topmost part of the knife edge of our pivot. So this will be the perpendicular distance. How is it said to be perpendicular? It is perpendicular because when you take this line and this line of action of the force, you get it, they are perpendicular to each other. They are perpendicular to each other. You get 90 angle, 90 degree angle, this one, this one. So the line of action of the force and, the and the, this distance, and the distance from the line of action to the turning point, they are perpendicular to each other. That is why we say that, uh, according to the definition of moment of a force about a point, uh, is, a, is a product of force and the perpendicular distance from the point where the pivot is or the turning point to the line of action of the force. Now, according to the definition of moment of force, our moment here, our moment here, our moment will be equal to force, which is W, times its perpendicular distance, which is in E. This force times perpendicular distance from the turning point to the line of action of the force. I hope you have understood the concept. The concept now is clear to you about moment of a force. Thank you for attending today's session. I welcome you in the next sessions and if you have not subscribed, make sure that you subscribe so as to get updates whenever we upload any video in our channel. Thank you. Have a nice moment.